Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're at Mall Me Antique Mall, which is uh, just off the Ohio Turnpike in where I believe is Mall Me, Ohio. And we're actually on a trip to Wisconsin to pick up a puppy. Uh, so we stopped at a couple antique, well, two antique malls on the way there. I'll have another video down the road for an antique mall that's in northern Illinois. Uh, but we stopped here and... Here's the baseball cards. Uh, there's a lot of this place. Um, these are up in the um, cases in the front of the store. And as you can see, there's uh, football cards and baseball cards and hockey cards in here. Uh, can't quite make out the prices on, on some of these, but the prices seemed a bit high up in the cases in the front. A bunch of those smaller sets. Some 1985 Topps team sets. They were going for six bucks each. I guess some of the prices of some of these small box sets about are about average, about five dollars. It looks like. Um, there's a graded Roger Clemens rookie card there. Didn't quite catch the price. I should have slowed down. A lot of these are football players. That looks like some minor league sets there. Uh, there's some non-sports. Dallas. A <laughs> pack of Dallas cards. Uh, some sports magazines on the bottom. Uh, there's a Topps Update hanger box over there for 30 bucks. Uh, it's a 2022 Update Chrome Hobby Box, $125. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things in here. Some vintage, some modern... There's some basketball cards. Uh, nothing really caught my attention in here. There's some vintage cards. Uh, these prices to me seemed like they were about retail or a little bit higher. Nice stuff to look at, definitely. Uh, but nothing I was really interested in. There's a yellow letter 69 mantle they want $2,800 for. And there's a couple more vintage down here. Again, I thought the prices were probably around retail or a bit higher. So I didn't have this case opened up. I'm, I'm basically here looking for deals. There's some Wheaties boxes. And there's a whole bunch of boxes uh, with uh, like packs of things and individual cards, some complete sets. These are hand collated sets. I thought about getting that 2001 Tops one, uh, but that one's known for bricking, so I held off on getting it. And there's some vintage cards in this uh, case. Prices seemed a little bit better in this case. Um, I'd say probably between a good deal and between retail. So uh, if it's something that you're really looking for, uh, the prices weren't too bad in that regard for a collector. Uh, but if you're looking for a great deal, eh, maybe. In this case was having a sale 15% off of everything inside of it. And here's some more cards. Didn't quite get a good look at some of these. It looks like a quarter box. Um, I didn't ask to open that up. Uh, I just... This was my first time here, so I wanted to actually see the whole store um, before I started thinking about opening up any cases. A bunch of hockey uh, sets, I think. Uh, some trains. <laughs> and here's some more sets. Looks like hockey again. Uh, here's a Fisher Price parking ramp and service center. I had this when I was a kid. It was pretty cool. Uh, this was thirty-eight dollars. 
and it looked like it was in pretty good condition. I think the one that I had was pretty beat up by the time it got thrown out. But I was like, wow, I remember having this when I was a kid. So I thought I'd film that. Uh, here's some rack packs from 1989 tops. A 1988 tops. It looks like uh, they were going for about five bucks. Here's a bunch of random wax uh, error packs from... Uh, just about all of, all of the major companies from back then. Uh, there's some non-sports thrown in there. Uh, nothing really caught my eye. I've had my share of junk wax. Uh, here is a uh, one of these uh, spinny things. And the, every card on here, I believe, was priced at a dollar. Uh, some of these were probably a bit higher than, <laughs> than they really would be in um, a card store. Uh, some of these I would not pay a dollar for myself. Uh, but I think there's a few in here that would have been, I guess, a fair price at a dollar. Nothing really caught my eye in this uh, uh, this thing. A lot of these I already had. Or I just didn't feel like paying a dollar for them. There's a Sandy Alomar minor league card from Pro Cards. Willie Stargell. Bernie Williams. Some football players. Ozzy Smith. Roberto Alomar. Uh, here's a box full of uh, cards. Um, not sure what these were going for looks like uh, 50 cents for that one 50 cents for that one these all look like they were junk wax they look they look a little beat up some of them there's a box of assorted basketball cards for five bucks and in the center of the store near the back I found this uh, set of tables that had all these uh, bins with cards on them and the shelving next to it also had bins and I sat down at this for quite some time and dug out quite a few cards there's some autograph pictures of Gaylord Perry and Jack Morris um, I'm kind of spinning around real fast here's the other side of those that those tables so I had a good look at stuff in there um, there's some pa like made up packs uh, I did pick up a couple from this pile here I'll show you what I bought at this place at the end of the video. Uh, welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> All kinds of neat stuff to see here. Um, there's some non-sports things, Coca-Cola on them. Uh, there's some pages with some junk wax. They're going for two seventy-five. That's probably a little high for that. I think I don't know. Uh, there's a Yankees magazine. Can't quite. Looks like a whole bunch of different sporting-related kind of stuff in here. Well, maybe <laughs> that photograph looked like it was of Toledo history. Uh, there's some classic. Um, box is still sealed. That one's eleven ninety five. Not sure if that's a good price or not for that. I it might be. Uh, there's some of those uh, score. Um, what do they call those? Blister packs. Yeah. That one was for nine ninety five. Some Donruss packs two ninety five. Those are those cello packs. And here's some more sports cards in a display. And I think we are off to the left side of the store. As you come in, this is along the left wall, about midway back. 
And there, in addition to this case, there's a, a lot of stuff on the shelves. And there's another table with bins of cards and a chair you can sit down at. As you can see, there's like a like hand collated packs of cards here on the shelf, priced at various pricings. And they cover the whole gamut with football cards, basketball cards, non-sports cards. And here are a bunch of mystery boxes that have two cards and top loaders uh, taped to the top of the box. And here's this table full of uh, cards. And I'd get some stuff from here too. So right after this, I'll let you know what I got here. So earlier in the video, I had noted that uh, we were on our way to Wisconsin to pick up a new puppy. And this is him right here. Uh, he's asleep right now, and I don't know how he does it, but he sleeps right through while I'm recording videos for this channel. And his name is Cody, and he is a Bernese Mountain Dog, like our previous dog, and dogs before that. Um, I think he's... Uh, nine weeks old but by the time this video gets posted it may be another week or two but um there's cody uh i don't know when we are going to show him opening up baseball cards with him he's at that point in his uh puppyhood <laughs> where he's chewing lots of things and so eh, you don't want to really want him around baseball cards Anyway, that's one of the reasons why I'm filming in the dining room at the moment. Um, as you know, puppies, uh, they need to, uh, you need to be around them all the time. You don't want to leave them alone by themselves because they can get into all kinds of trouble. So let's go over what we found at Mall Me Antique Mall. Um, this is my pile of singles right here. We're going to slide that over and I bought three 50 cent packs uh this one's showing john olerud on front from top's finest um there's a sports sport flicks card for tim Unroe on the back so i don't know what we're going to find in here we're going to open these up on another video because there's a considerable amount of cards in them um this one is also a 50 cent pack. Uh, it looks like the 82 Donruss design, something called Originals, and that's Mo Vaughn on that one. And the back um, is JT Snow. And I have one additional 50 cent pack. We'll open all these up in, in one video, all of these. This is Josh Beckett from Upper Deck 40 Man. And there's another one on the back for Jeff Fasaro. Um. I bought this uh, $2, um, I don't know what you call these cases, and this looks like it has the 86 uh, Topps All-Star set, and it looks like it might be complete. This is a 60-card set, Nolan Ryan is on the back, Tom Seaver's on the front, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I haven't opened them up to inspect them, and I'm not, not sure if I'll do a separate video for this or not. Um, we'll see down the road and see how like, see if I feel like doing that or not. Uh, an unopened pack of International League um, 1988 team set for the Maine Phillies. This was only $1.50, uh, so I thought I'd pick that up since I was a Phillies, uh, still am a Phillies fan, but followed them very closely during the 80s. I thought this would be pretty cool. There's Marty Bystrom on the front. Um, he came up with them in 79 or... 1980 actually and and um played during the end of that season during their world series year a couple years after that i think he went to the yankees may have gone to another couple of clubs but um here he is in the minor leagues for the main phillies team uh got some mystery boxes <laughs> this was 450 for this one um it has two upper deck cards and top loaders um pasted to the top of the box uh water johnson and christy matthewson not sure how much those go for they look like they're in pretty good shape uh so this is sealed so i have no idea what's in it so it's a mystery box so we're going to open this up plus a second one in another video down the road uh this one has uh 
Uh, two, I think I think these are heritage. If they're not heritage, then they're archives. But I think they're heritage. Um, Mookie Betts and Bryce Harper on the Sporting News All Star design from the 1970 top set, and that's also sealed. And we'll open this up with the other box in a future video. We're gonna move beep beep grimace off to the side and Omar beep beep off to the side and there's uh, Nathan the gnome boop boop boop. And let's go over the singles. So this top group, top half or so of this, I bought at that um, that one that was in the center of the store that had uh, tables and chairs set up so that you can go through um, these multiple bins of cards. And um, some of these I got off the off on the shelving sides too. So this is an MLB artifact or game used uh, apparel from Upper Deck Artifacts of Mark Loretta. Um, has like a uniform patch there. It's numbered 33 out of 325. That was four bucks. Uh, on card auto from Ron Gant from 1988 score. I have no idea if this is a legit autograph. I mean, it looks similar to other ones that I've seen online, so I I don't know if it's legit. But I took a chance with it for three bucks. Uh, legit autographs from that are, seem like they're going for about twelve to fifteen dollars. I think we got a Gunnar Henderson from Bowman Chrome. This is uh, Bowman Chrome Prospects BCP. Got that for a buck. Uh, Paul Canerco on card auto from uh, which year Bowman was this 96 Bowman that was three dollars again I don't know if it's a legit signature um, but it looks similar to ones I've seen online so I thought taking getting that for three bucks was a uh, was worth it uh, Aaron Judge um, which year Gypsy Queen is this looks like 2018 got that for 50 cents uh, Tim Anderson uh, rookie card. Um, this is from Topps Heritage. Got this for fifty cents. Uh, Mike Trout from I don't remember which Bowman. Twenty nineteen Bowman. Got that for fifty cents. That's a base card. I didn't have that in my collection, so I thought I'd get that. Uh, Talent Pipeline. Uh, this is from Bowman Chrome. Came out in twenty nineteen. The key player on here is Key Brian Hayes. We had a pretty good this year. This year his batting numbers are improving, but he's Better known for his fielding at third base. Um, not sure if he'll get a gold glove this year, but I think he deserves it. Uh, Mitch Keller is also a pretty decent starter for the Pirates right now. Not sure uh, who Luis Escobar is. I'd have to look him up. So oh, that was uh, 50 cents, so I thought it was a good deal for that. Uh, we got a Jimmy Rollins SP Top Prospects. Uh, this is when he is pictured with the uh, Red Barons. Back in his minor league days, uh, this was fifty cents. And that dates from two thousand. Uh, Jason Hayward. This I think is a second year card from Topps Heritage. It has the rookie cup on it. That was fifty cents. Uh, Austin Riley. This is a Bowman Prospects card from two thousand nineteen. That was twenty five cents. I thought that was a really great deal for that. Uh, CC Sabathia, this is a minor league card from Team Best when he was with the Mahoning Valley Scrappers. Uh, the date on that is 1999. I got that for 25 cents. Uh, Key Brian Hayes, this is a Bowman Draft from 2018. Got that for 25 cents. Thought that was a good deal. Uh, Corey Seeger, rookie card from Bowman Chrome, 75 cents. Definitely worth getting. Uh, this is a minor league card for Austin Riley, 2018 International League Top Prospects. This was $0.75, cents, and this was uh, issued by some company called Choice Sports Cards in 2018. Uh, comps on eBay were significantly higher than the $0.75. Cents. There were no sold comps when I looked this up. And uh, I saw prices of 12 and $15 for it. So I have no idea if that's really what it's worth. You can never tell with eBay. Prices sometimes are all over the place. But I thought, you know, hey, he's having a pretty good career so far. Um, it's cool to get a minor league card every now and then from some of these players. And this one was only $0.75, cents, so I thought I'd grab that. Dansby, Sp uh, pardon me, Dansby Swanson rookie card. This is from the 87 Tops Design 
that came out with the 2017 top set. That was 75 cents. That was a nice pickup. Uh, Frank Thomas um, minor league card from when he was with the Birmingham Barons. This is 75 cents. Uh, this was issued by Best Cards in 1990. I don't know much about minor league cards, but when you when I see a price like less like a dollar or less for like a well known player, I usually grab them. Uh, Gunnar Henderson. This is Topps Heritage Minor Leagues. Um, uh, this came out in 2020. This says the features of the 72 Topps design. That was a dollar. Uh, Nick Castellanos rookie card from. 2014 Donruss, that was a dollar. We got a Topps Gold card. I think this is from 93, yep, of Trevor Hoffman. That was a dollar. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., this is a Bowman Draft card from 2017. That was $2. Uh, Alex Bregman, uh, Rookie of the Year Favorites. Uh, this is from Bowman Chrome, I believe. And uh, that's from 2017. Has the RC logo there. That was a dollar. Uh, Adley Rushman. This is a Leaf card. Um, what's this called? Leaf Draft. This came out in 2019. This was just a dollar. Thought I'd get that. On card auto for Paul Sorrento. This is from, I think, 92 Studio. Yeah. I uh, don't know if it's legit auto. I looked at some other autos on eBay, and it looks like it's similar to those. So I, I think it's probably okay for getting for two bucks. Uh, this was a cool one. Kent to auto on 1985 Topps card. Again, I don't know if it's legit, but it looks similar to uh, his auto and some other cards. Uh, I've noticed his auto is a little, varies a bit across his career, but this seems like it's similar. Uh, this was only two bucks. He was one of my favorite players growing up, so it was cool to see this. Definitely a, an instant, yeah, gotta get it. Uh, blue artist proof of, um, this is Diamond Kings from 2022. That's Jose Altuve. That was 50 cents. Uh, we've now moved on to um, the seller that had bins that was on the uh, left side of the store. Uh, I grabbed some from there. I uh, got a 1975 Topps Joe Negro for 50 cents. This one was in pretty good shape and uh, was missing in my collection, I believe. <laughs> Sometimes I, I'm not sure and I end up having duplicates, but it's okay to have duplicates. Uh, Allen and Ginter, I forget what this, this uh, insert set was called. I think it's just called United States and there's like a player from each state. Uh, I can't make out the date on that. It looks like... 2008 or 9 I think it's 2008 this is Alex Rodriguez he's the representative for the state of New York and that was 25 cents um, portraits insert card for Diamond Kings uh, 2018 this is David Ortiz numbered P2 that was a quarter 1994 Allen and Ginter Alex Rodriguez on the starting points insert set that was a quarter uh, Robin Yount, this is this this top loader is really yellowed over time. Uh, this is some Upper Deck 2005 Legendary Cuts. Uh, this was a quarter. I thought it was a pretty neat looking card. Don't have anything from that set. Uh, this is the Art of Hitting insert um, from 2021 Diamond Kings. This is Tony Gwynn got that for a quarter. I think that was a rather exceptional deal that that for that one a refractor of from tops chrome greatest players um has the 150 years logo on it frank thomas for a quarter uh don't know much about this insert set but when you see them for a quarter and you don't have them and it's like let's get it trophy club is another insert set from diamond kings uh this is from 2018 and this is Corey seeger for quarter there uh, we got two from this uh, insert set from Diamond Kings called the 500, and this came out in 2018 also. We got Eddie Matthews and David Ortiz, both a quarter each. Uh, what is this called? Club 40. Uh, tops All Matrix. 
1998 Club 40. I don't know what that stands for. This is an insert card for Rafael Palmeira from, I believe, 1999. Uh, during this time period, sometimes the copyright 1999 was applicable to, like, I, I, I think, like, 2,000 cards. They had, like, an earlier copyright, copyright date for, like, a year or two or three back then. So when you look on the back, it doesn't always match up with what you find. Pretty neat-looking card. I liked all the... The, the rainbow refractory things going on there. We got an X Fractor of Kyle Seeger, Seeger from Topps Chrome. Don't remember the year on this, 2019. I wasn't collecting in 2019. I still can't remember the design from that year for, for whatever reason. Call it Slow Brain, I guess. Uh, Topps Chrome uh, Greatness Returns. This has Roberto Alomar and Francisco Lindor on the card. This was just a quarter. And that one came out in 2019. Um, uh, the numbers insert set numbers game. Uh, this is from Panini Prism. This came out in 2020. This is Mookie Betts. That was a quarter. And the last card in the stack of singles is um, Pinnacle Position Powers. I think this came out in 2013. Yep, and it's Miguel Cabrera, and that was a quarter. So that's all the stuff I got at uh, Mall Me Antique Mall. Um, yeah, and um. Like I said, we'll open these three uh, mystery packs, 50 cents each, in a separate video. And then we will also open up these mystery boxes that were 450 each, also in a separate video. I'm not going to do these all in one video. That uh, I'm hoping that this isn't full of junk wax, but I suspect it is for $4.50. This may be just a way for somebody to get rid of a bunch of stuff and... And tease you with it by pasting these cards to the top of it and you know it worked on me I'm pretty gullible with stuff like that I was like oh I don't have those cards on top and um, they're not I don't think either one of the two cards is worth like 450 total um, I'm not sure what they go for I'm thinking maybe a dollar each maybe a little bit more dollar fifty who knows um, so I figured, well, that, that takes up a lot of the 450, so at least I'm not coming out of it with absolutely nothing. But then I may end up having a whole bunch of junk wax, um, sitting around in my comments boxes. I actually do have like a real, if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I have like a, these really large boxes I bought from the Street of Shops. And, uh, I'm using one of them to store common cards from Junk Wax Era because I just don't feel like spending the time using my uh, regular boxes that are like this to, to store them in. So I, I got one large box that, I, that it's just it's like about a third of the way filled. It eventually will probably fully fill as I keep acquiring <laughs> mystery things which are t seem to be loaded with these. So, um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll, um, take you down and let you, he moved his position a little bit, his eyes are barely open, this is his nap time, so it's a good time for me to do some recordings, because when he's not napping, he's running around like a nut, <laughs> chewing up toys, making lots of noise, um, but, uh, I'll feature him every now and then on some of our videos and, and you'll get to see his growth um, and hopefully down the road he'll calm down a bit where I can open up some baseball cards with him and uh, like I did with Riker uh, last year. So thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Take care everybody. Beep beep.